Hello everyone and thanks for joining me today. I am going to be showing you a little bit of my tames um, that I've collected as well as just taming at the moment. Um, and this is all in preparation for cave runs. The next uh, video that I will be posting is just the caves and getting the artifacts in and stuff. Um, so right now, as you can see, I am going to be taming raptors. Now, on the ARC wiki that they have online, and I will be posting a link in the descriptions to the one I used, it does, in some caves, you are able to bring raptors in with you, or just gives you different um, variations of what tames you can bring into the caves that will help you out. Um, personally, I do prefer raptors just because, one, they are rideable, and um, having them, or having several of them in a pack, coming with you it's very helpful so um, I did try to tame both male and female so I can go ahead and breed them uh, and this uh, advantage point that I'm at at the moment is very helpful just because I don't have to worry about other uh, carnivorous uh, dinosaurs that may get me when I'm trying to do my tames so um, right now since most of them have um, went ahead and just not to not sleep what I found during taming and you can also look at my other video that I posted a uh, link will also be in the uh, description um, I found that when you're taming um, your dinosaurs you don't want to automatically put food in them you do want them to starve a little bit uh, just because I found that if you starve your dinos um, for some time then when you go ahead and put food in their inventory they will tame almost automatically and then um, this video will also show you how easy it is as well to do that um, and it's just right now they're just really low level just because um, the I guess my control that I have for the server since I am playing single player it's a little bit different so nothing's gonna spawn more than like 20 or 30 or something like that which is fine because it's just a, a single player mode that I'm using just for um, video purposes so right now um, I'm collecting some meat uh, so I can go ahead and put those um, into my tank inventory and you will in a little bit I will show you exactly what I mean about um, putting at least one meat and you're done in your tank speed up uh, almost automatically all right so we're gonna go with this one first and as long as they are still basically uh, still have their torpidity they're not gonna wake up they're half which is fine but as soon as I put a prime meat it's it's tamed you know and most of these have been starved already um, and prime meat so uh, especially with the uh, super spyglass that I'm using it tells me exactly which meat will tame it faster and this is very helpful just because at least I know which um, type of meat that I need to carry with me and just stuff like that. Um, again, be mindful that there are going to be some dinos out that might attack you. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cryo the raptors and then from there so much easier to transport them because I'm still not good at carrying them on my RG Tavis.
Alright, so in this section right here, we're going to be making medical brews, which is part of the wiki that tells you that they do recommend you having at least several of them with you. Um, again, that wiki does tell you the what's the best armor and items to take with you in the cave rooms. Now, with this one, um, I only have a little bit of medical brews, so I do have to craft some more. Um, the, the thing is with the medical brews, sometimes I do use them and sometimes I just don't. However, I did find that having medical brews with you, um, it's very handy, especially since they, they don't really do much, but they do help you with your health and stuff. Um, and you are going to need about 20 tinto berries. So what I'm doing now, since I don't have enough in my inventory or in my um, crop plants, I'm going to go ahead and mine for stuff with my... Um, Triceratops tops in this way. Um, I mean, you're more than welcome to spawn in the berries. I'm sure there um, there is a, a spawn command for them, but at least this way gives my Triceratops some experience while I'm out collecting uh, the Tinto berries. Uh, this way, I found it's a little bit easier. Um, however, it's really up to you how you want to proceed. Um, the, each item does have a requirement, and just for the medical brews, unfortunately, you do need. 20 tinto berries so if you're gonna make 30 40 50 of them you are gonna need a lot I would say um, so this way it's just um, having um, crop plots with you and just having multiple multiple uh, berries planted that would be absolutely very helpful another thing you're also gonna need narcotics so any blackberries and spoiled meat you're also gonna want that too um, like I said, again, I'm just going through how to make them really fast. Uh, I'm taking some time to actually put my refrigerators in just so that um, I can go ahead and just show you. Um, I do have some of the artifacts already, um, so I did have to clear some of the caves beforehand. Um, I didn't want to just, like I said, showing purposes. I already cleared them several times to get a better hang of them and to see where the artifacts are. Okay, so when you're going to craft the medical brews, um, you can use the pull option or um, a little triangle in the middle of the gear to craft them. And it's the, uh, once you meet all the requirements, you need narco berries, tinto berries, and water. I did have to irrigate the CKF, um, I guess, uh, brewer that I'm using to make the items. Um, you can use different types, but I just found it that using this one is so much easier uh, Just for the fact that it automatically starts brewing. I did try to make um, different uh, You know cur curries and stuff which helps depending on which cave so each cave either is too cold or too hot or you know it, It's just better to be prepared and that wiki the arc wiki online does tell you Exactly what you need to uh, bring in and recommended items and most of the time you are able to survive without them however if they recommend like a grappling hook and stuff I highly highly recommend you take one just because it uh, most of the caves that I found on the island do have cliffs that you need grappling hooks or something to pull you over now I know there's a command to fly over things which I believe you should be able to do if you want to if you forget but if you don't want to use any commands then I highly recommend you looking at the wiki before you go into the caves and trying it out Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, like I'm still trying to make some medical brews and it's just really a long process making sure you have the necessary items. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And again, next videos are going to be going into the different caves.